Hello and welcome. Although my last two hockey picks on this channel have been losers, I'm going to go over a couple bets that I am going to make. I will show you making the wagers on this video. It will be the Pittsburgh Penguins game tonight as they host a hot Florida Panthers team. Pittsburgh Penguins over the last few games, if we look, 6-1 win, 5-2 win, 5-3 win, 3-1, 6-3, 4-1. Losing a shootout. They've got a lot of wins lately. So, uh, they're just playing very good. Tonight will be Tristan Yari in net. But he's done relatively well this year. So that is the matchup for the Pittsburgh Penguins. So what I did is I looked at every single one of these box scores of the most recent time or the last uh, 20 games to see an interesting pattern I'll be talking about in a little while. When we go to the analysis of this game, this is the things I look at. Pittsburgh's on the road. Okay, what's the road record? 13 and 18. That's not good. Florida at home, 14 and 12. That's that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, for Florida, it's not really that good, actually, no. 80% of the public lights Pittsburgh. That means nothing for me as far as what they're doing because it's all about my action, what either wins or loses. Recent performance, Pittsburgh wins, 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 wins. Pittsburgh has won five consecutive games. I look at recent matchups in divisional match, divisionals, even three before that. So Pittsburgh has won five in a row and eight of the last nine against these foes. And there's the stats we've already went over already. Florida, though, look at their last 10. Very interesting uh, thing to look at. Washington with uh, one day rest played Washington and beat a good team 3-2. to two. Then they played another good team in Toronto, but they lost one nothing. You see a lot of W's on here below this, but Winnipeg, good team, and they got their asses kicked 7-2. Then they played three Canadian West Coast foes, and quite frankly, none of these teams I give much respect for being that great. So, okay, they got uh, 17 goals in three games against them. They also allowed 11, too, and Pittsburgh's been scoring like crazy. So, oh, I mean, they won, but they were weaker foes. LA, re relatively decent team, and then... The three wins in here. Buffalo is like the, one of the worst teams in the league. Detroit's not that good. Vancouver again for another win. Not a good hockey team. Statistically speaking, these are very good stats in here. And when we look at the line for the game, this is the place where I'm wagering. I'm coming off a win earlier today. I bet the Philadelphia Flyers on the money line, betting 0.0286 Bitcoin to win 0.02. So I'm up uh, 0.02 more. This is... Interesting, so I'm probably going to put those profits on the line, make 2.01 bets. That's actually exactly what I'm going to do. So Pitts, Florida's minus 103 on the money line, Pittsburgh's minus 113. And I do like that minus 113. And I'm debating on whether I take that or if I take the puck line. Now this is uh, spreads. Do I look at the spread? Two and a half to one odds. I'm probably going to make uh, three different wagers on this game. Now, these quarter lines, what this means here, or the 0.75, say if you're betting one and a quarter, if the result is by one goal, you basically only win half your bet, and the other half, it's, so if you bet, like, so you don't, you don't get as much of a payout. And on the minus 7.5, if they happen to win by one, then again, you don't get as much of a payout. And if you take the plus, you don't get as much of a loss on that sense. The total I'm not going to touch, but this one here is interesting. The first goal spread, Florida plus a half a goal, minus 213, Pittsburgh minus a half a goal, plus 179. Okay. I have checked the results. In the last 18 Pittsburgh games, they have led after one in 10 of their 18 games. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a wager on that. I'm just going to type it in. Every time I, I make sure I put it in right, I'm going to go 007. And that's placed. Again, I want to put 0 0.02 on the game, so i got 13 left to go. So I'm going to go on the spread.
at 003. I want to make sure I push it right. $30 bet and $300 bet are two totally different things. Of course, everything you do also is within your own risk, own reward. I'm taking the risk here. Now, there's also one more stat that I wanted to go over in regards to the uh, the day's rest on this page. If you go to, where is it? Right here, yeah, right here. Go to on day's rest with no rest. Pittsburgh this season, six and seven, nine and four against the spread. Really odd how a good team would have a better spread record than win loss, but this is a team that I think uh, is hot enough with riding the mojo that they currently have that the value that I'm getting to take a hot team at close to minus 110 odds is tremendous. And of course, as I showed, the, two to, uh, the odds to win by two goals or more is tremendous as well as to lead after one. Thank you for tuning in.